how to make money on Google AdSense. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make money online with Google AdSense. And I'm really excited for this video because this is a request from a subscriber. If you have any requests, let me know below and I'll do a future video on that and help you make money online. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step by step on how you can actually start making money with AdSense from a complete beginner to an expert and I'll take you through the best methods to get started. And at the end of this video, I actually have a method that's gonna help you make money even faster. So let's jump into this today, guys. I'm super excited for this because we haven't actually done content on this for a very long time. And I'm gonna take you through everything you need to know so you can start making money with AdSense today because it is one of the best beginner-friendly ways to make money online. So let's get started and I'll show exactly what you need to do. All right guys, so before we jump into this, we first need to understand what is AdSense and how does it work? Because it's been around for a while, but there's still a lot of people that don't really understand the concept and understand how much money you can actually make from this. So let me just show you what I've been spending on AdSense on one of my accounts, or Google Ads on one of my accounts, just in the last day. So we've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 $6, in one day that I've spent on Google Ads, but that's only one of my credit cards. I have over 30 credit cards where I spend money on Facebook Ads and Google Ads. So what does this even mean? What this means is people like me are spending money on advertising and you can get a piece of the pie. I mean, I'm just spending $6,000 a day. I'm actually spending a lot more than that, but there's companies like Coca-Cola and other huge companies spending millions of dollars per year on advertising. So what happens is basically what I do is I will run an advert to people online, which is showing up on this website right here. And this is the money that I've spent on this particular ad. This is a deal that we did for 4th of July. People are gonna click this ad and what two things happen. I basically, um, the, 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 the person that owns this website is going to get paid because they had the ad on their website, so they're gonna make money. And also Google is gonna make money as well. That's how Google makes their money via advertising. Now you think about this for a second. If I spent $6,000 in one day, and I spent one, two, three thousand dollars the, the the day before that, probably actually more, not including all of my other credit cards. Someone is getting a piece of this pie. So let me just show you kind of like some examples right here. Um, this is the website that I was just I used in my example, and you can see these ads um, showing up. And if people click on these ads, these guys are actually going to make money. Now, if we click on this ad, uh, this website here, you'll see my um, advertising here. So this is my ad. I'm paying money to have my advertisement on this specific web page, and this person is going to get money when somebody clicks on these ads. So first of all, before, before we do that, I actually wanna show you an example of something real quick. So this is actually a website of mine that gets um, 129,000 uh, page views per month, unique page views, that's not visitors, but it's around about page views. So we'll just say around about 100,000 visitors to this website per month. Now, if we do some calculations based off um, Google, the AdSense calculator that we'll, that we'll look at in a second, and this is in the finance niche, this website makes around about $38,000 per year if I had ads on this website. Now, I don't actually have AdSense ads on this website at this point of time, because I actually make more money with affiliate marketing and stuff like that on this website, but I could potentially make around about $40,000 nearly if I put Google ads on this specific website per year. So the first step is simple. You wanna actually choose a niche to dive into. Now I've actually found a really cool website that you can use and I've been using this for years and years and years. This is called Discover a Hobby. So all you need to do is go into Google and put in Discover a Hobby and it will show up. And there's literally hundreds of hobbies that you can choose to base your content around. So let's go performing arts. If I click on performing arts, there's lots of subcategories. We've got ballet dancing, break dancing, line dancing, pole dancing, we've got salsa, swing, tango. We've got juggling, we've got acting. I don't know why that's in there, but we've got all of these different niches that we can dive into and it's literally an untapped amount of niches. You will never run out of specific niches to choose. But uh, if you are kind of new and you don't really know what to do and what to go after, I would recommend just going into Google and putting in best niche website ideas. And you'll actually find a lot of people who are already doing this 
in their everyday business and they'll give you really, really good ideas. Like IncomeSchool.com, they give out really good ideas on niche websites and I do know that these guys are making seven figures per year with their AdSense websites. And they give you some really, really good niche ideas and you can see they even have ads on their website so they, we know that they're, that they're actually doing this, right? They have lots and lots of ads. But more importantly is, let me show you kind of what to look for when choosing a niche. So I've got some ideas here, right? Uh, I've gone and basically made some little ideas and kind of like some topic ideas just for this example. So for example, I actually went out and, and I found the keyword um, woodworking projects and basketball drills, okay? What I did is you can actually use a free tool here called Uber Suggest. And I basically put in, I, I went to the dis, um, Discover a Hobby and I found the hobby woodworking. So I, I put in some stuff and woodworking came up, however I got it, right? And then I went and put woodworking into this into this tool and I found a keyword that was called woodworking projects. Then what I did is I put woodworking projects into this tool and I started to get keyword ideas, okay? Then I started to get, then I started to kind of like, just put some random article topics here. And then it kind of starts to flow when you kind of see everything come together. That's what I do before I make a, a niche site. But what's more important is the difference between these two ideas. So just go and put your niche into this Uber Suggest tool. It's free to use. And what it does is it actually gives you keyword ideas. So for example, we have the woodworking projects and it's got like woodworking projects for beginners, woodworking projects small, woodworking projects to sell. But you'll notice on the right here, it says SEO difficulty is yellow, which means around about medium to kind of hard. But if we actually go to the keyword that I put in before, like this is some stuff that I did before this video, basketball drills, you'll see that the keyword difficulty is all green. So essentially this is gonna be easy to rank for. Now, when I mean easy to rank for, I'm not saying you're gonna go and put up a couple of pages and you're gonna rank. You are gonna to have to put a little bit of work but it's gonna be much easier to rank for this specific, these specific keywords than it is for these keywords here that are medium to hard difficulty. What's next is you wanna actually target keywords that, are, that have a CPC, cost per click. If there's no cost per click, it means nobody's actually advertising on these keywords, so you wouldn't make any money because there's no one advertising. But anyway, th this is what you wanna be looking for, is you wanna be looking for the greens, and you wanna be looking for, um, for keywords that you can make really good content out of, okay? And to do that, you can use Uber Suggest, just like I've showed you here, it's completely free to use. And you just wanna go through and you wanna kind of just, just find, like basically the best thing I, I can tell you about niche research, I can't sh tell you exactly what to, what to go and target, but do something you enjoy or you have some sort of interest in, even if it's a little bit hard to rank for, do it because it's much more enjoyable for you. If you have trouble finding a niche, just go to Google and there's lots of experts online that will give you the best niche ideas. The next step is simple. You want to start a simple website, okay? Now I'm gonna show you an example of one of mine in a second, but all you've gotta do is you've gotta just find what we call a host to host the website at. It's gonna cost you around about two to three dollars per month. You can simply go into Google and put in best web hosting services, and I'll leave a video below on how to start a website. I'm not gonna show you in this video, because it's more about AdSense for beginners. Once you've started your website, you need to upload a theme. I suggest two themes for this. One is called Schema, which is completely free for you to use. However, this one from Income School will cost you a little bit of money, but this is specifically designed for AdSense websites. So you can go and check them out as well. Just go and put Income School um, Akabado into Google and it will show up and you can go and use that particular theme. Now, the next thing is you, the content is actually one of the most important things because if you mess this up, it's your, your content's just not going to rank as simple as that, okay? So there's a few criteria to the content and I'll show you an example of one of mine. You basically wanna have one, uh, 1,200 to 2,000 words long. We, never ver we very rarely do an article that's under 1,200 words long and we very rarely do an article that's over 2,000 for these little mini AdSense websites. Has to be easy to read, informative content, keeps people on the site. This is extremely important. It gets people scrolling. This is another very, very important one. The more people scroll, the better signals it gives to Google. In fact, we've ranked websites just of these factors alone. 
And what's more important as well is it gives people what they are looking for. If you don't get this right, you're going to fail at this, okay? So here's an example of one of my websites here. I'm gonna probably blank out some information, but um, you'll see down here, it's about getting a fishing license in Vegas. We give people some information on it, but then we actually give them what they want, the prices, we give them everything they need that we, we basically, well, I give them what, what they, I say we because my team did this, but I give them everything they were looking for. They were looking for information on Vegas fishing licenses. Now, we don't have ads on this website yet because we haven't actually started to base it, you know, we want to get traffic first. Now, I do want to show you the calculator that I didn't actually um, show you before. So to sign up to Google, all you want to do is put in Google AdSense into Google search bar and you'll come to this website and you just go get started or sign in. But more importantly is they actually have this calculator here. So if I go um, to the fishing niche, which is what I'm in, I'll just go to hobbies and leisure and just remember this isn't accurate, okay? This is like an estimation. So basically of 50,000 views per month, my website should make me around about $6,000 per year. Now this website, we're easily gonna be getting it to that because we've only done seven articles and we're already at 50 visits per day. And this is gonna keep growing even with those 50 articles, but we're just gonna keep putting articles and keep putting articles on and we're easily going to get this website to $6,000 per year. So you can um, you can go in and you can just put in your the country, just put in North America, you can put in the category that you plan to do it in and it's literally going to give you an estimation of what you would make per year off the specific views. Now, when it comes to content, the titles are very important and the topics. This is what's really working right now. So basically I put woodworking projects into that Uber Suggest. Okay, I'm not, I, I'm not really gonna go through that right here because I, basically you need to come up with your own ideas, but I'm gonna show you an example of what I did. Okay, just so you can see. So DIY woodwork projects, easy woodwork projects, cool woodwork projects, wood lathe projects, and bandsaw projects. Now, these are articles, okay? Every single one of these are article ideas, and I do thousands of these. So what I do is I do what we call a volume game. More is better. I have some websites that have 300, 400, 500 articles. But basically, what, what, what you're doing here is these are the types of um, content that you should do. Why you should stay away from these seven DIY wood projects. I've got the um, keyword in the title. 17 easy wood projects you can do on a weekend or after work. 19, uh, nine unique and cool woodwork projects. Seven dangerous wood lathe projects I would not attempt. So we actually go back to this guy's article. He's got here, nine wood lathe projects for beginners. So he's got his keyword, wood lathe projects, but he's also got beginners as well. So it will show up and Google for that type of stuff. And I'll also leave a video below on how you can optimize your website for Google. If we actually go back to here, some more here, 17 fun basketball drills that are perfect for beginners in 2020. Eight intense basketball shooting drills that make you sweat. Nine weird dribbling drills that pro players are doing in 2020. You see what I'm doing here? I'm doing solid content with solid titles that are actually going to get clicks. I do wanna actually show you something real quick and you might notice on this website it says Mediavine. This is an alternative to Google AdSense and actually pay out more money. This is called Mediavine here. It's the same, it is Google AdSense but it's through a publisher. And you can actually sign up but you need 25,000 visits per month I think. You can actually sign up to one like this. So if you've actually gone to these websites and you've seen something like Mediavine or there's another one that's called Thrive Ads, that's what they are, they're separate publishers, but they still are actually running Google AdSense. But the most important part is to choose a niche that you enjoy. You choose a niche that um, is easy to rank for. Now this isn't 100% accurate. Now what I do wanna actually stress is that a lot of people are gonna say, oh Franklin, you need to, you need to worry about what's in the top 10. So for example, if we take um, one of my keywords here, uh, you'll, you'll notice a lot of videos that do this kind of content. So basketball shooting drills. They're like, hey, you need to make, you need to, um, we'll just go here, we don't need this sheet anymore. Um, so look, here's some, if you actually put the keyword in, it's gonna come up with ideas for you as well. And if we actually put that keyword into Google, we scroll straight to the bottom. You've also got other keyword ideas for your articles. We've got shooting drills for soccer, basketball shooting drills at home. 
That's a perfect one, basketball shooting drills at home. But what's more important is a lot of people are going to look at the front page and they're going to say, oh, I can't rank, outrank this website. I can't outrank these websites. I'm not trying to outrank a lot of these websites. I'm just trying to get on the front page. And what I'm trying to do is go for volume, volume, volume. So what a lot of people do is they will focus on, um, so here's one here that I could easily outrank because it's not even a .com. So I'll be able to out outrank this, not a problem. Um, this, this will be simple for me to outrank. But what a lot of people do is they focus on trying to rank for four or five keywords. You wanna be doing hundreds of articles over time. And within a year or so, you'll start to notice huge amounts of traffic. Like I said, we went from zero to 50 a day within one, two, three, four, five months. And we only wrote seven articles at the beginning. If we had wrote more, we'll be at easily four, five, six, seven hundred, even a thousand visits per day. So you need to just keep writing content and don't worry so much about what's on the front page, okay? Obviously, if it's really, really, really difficult and there's like Huffington Post and Forbes and all that sort of stuff on the front page, it's gonna be difficult to outrank them. But I could, I reckon I could easily get my website on the front page of this. If we go to basketball shooting drills at home, this is a little bit of a weaker one, but see, it has um, sports rec. We might not be able to outrank that one. But this one, probably I could. And then it's got Pinterest, which is another good sign because you could easily outrank Pinterest with, you know, Pinterest isn't a website. It's just a simple image. So there's no context here. There's no beef. There's, there's not, you know, there's nothing actually there. So in my opinion, I think that this particular keyword, you should be able to get your website on the front page. Now, what I want to do talk about though, is what we call an instant, uh, sorry, an initial traffic boost. So when you first start your website, there's one thing, well, there's a couple of things. There's one thing you can do. It's going to give you an initial boost in traffic. And it's also good for Google. You create backlinks and things like that is go to Pinterest, start a Pinterest page based on your specific niche and start posting content just like this and linking back to your website. What this is going to do is, first of all, it's gonna send traffic, and it's gonna, it's like an initial traffic boost that gives Google good signals, but more importantly, it actually creates what we call a backlink as well. So if I click on this one here, and I click on the um, link here, it links back to this website, and it creates what we call a backlink, plus they get traffic, so it's like an initial boost and gives Google good signals, okay? This is a great way to go and start to boost your traffic to your AdSense website. Now, if you don't wanna do any of this, one of the best ways to get AdSense quicker and faster and make more money is to actually go and start a YouTube channel. So for example, this YouTube channel makes $300 around about per day. This is the quickest way to get AdSense revenue quickly if you don't wanna build a website. So those are the simple steps on for a beginner on how you can actually go and start an AdSense website. I will leave some free videos on the right that will take you through step by step some other methods to make money online. And I'll also link all of the free videos that I mentioned in this video in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell, leave a comment below. I'll see you in one of the videos on the right.